Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about BT Cotton in detail. And I'm also going to explain you the advantages of the BT Cotton and how these BT Cotton plants are produced in the lab. So each and everything will be explained to you in this video in detail. So watch this video till the end. And BT Cotton is a genetically modified organism or a genetically pest resistant plant cotton variety which produces insecticide to combat bollworms. So these combat bollworms are the insects normally which feed upon this cotton leaves so normally there will be a leaves in this cotton uh, you know in the cotton plant right and if you take a field which is uh, where you are going to cultivate the cotton and normally these insects this combat bollworms not only this combat bollworms there are many other type of insects which feed on this uh, cotton leaves and it destroys the whole field so to prevent that the bt cotton uh, field is mainly used the bt cotton is mainly produced and this bt cotton will be cultivated throughout the field and then the insect cannot feed on this bt cotton and once that insect will feed on this bt cotton then it will lead to death so how this bt cotton plants are produced and what is the speciality in this bt cotton how this bt cotton can kill the insects each and everything will be explained to you in detail enough so so the BT cotton, BT indicates Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis is a bacterium where it consists of twin, uh, it consists of 200 different BT toxins inside this uh, bacterium. It consists of 200 different varieties of BT toxins. So each of the BT toxin can kill different type of insects like moths and butterflies, beetles, cotton bollworms, GHTU flies and aphids. So these are the type of insects which can be killed by 200 different type of BT toxins and not only these insects there are several type of insects where we all of us know that and each of the insect can be killed by different type of toxins which is mainly produced by this bacillus thuringiensis right and normally this BT cotton uh, normally this BT cotton field trials has been done in US in 1993 so this is the field trial which has been done firstly by the US in 1993 and commercially supplied in 1995 commercially supplied is nothing but uh, commercially, commercially supplied throughout the markets I mean to, uh, through, to the farmers to cultivate in the fields it has been supplied in 1995 in the US itself and in the India Monsanto and Maco are the two agricultural companies where they uh, where these both companies are the first two companies in the whole India to approve this field trials and it has been successful and even this BT cotton has been uh, cultivated in the India also cultivated in this India country also in 2002 it has been approved in 2002 and once it gets approved then they are uh, supplied to the farmers and they have cultivated in their own field and the marketing has been done so now let us discuss about the production of this BT cotton let us discuss about the what we said this pro whole procedure how this BT cotton has been developed by in the lab so after that we are going to discuss about the advantages of this BT cotton so now let us discuss about the production of the BT cotton so now we are going to take two bacterium which is Bacillus thuringiensis and another one is Bacterobacterium tumefaciens where this both of these bacteria consists of for, uh, plasmids so this is considered as a foreign plasmid and this Agrobacterium tumefaciens consists of the TI plasmid so now we are going to consider this as a foreign plasmid because this is a plasmid which plays a major and vital role which kills the insect so how we can kill the insect let us see now so now this foreign plasmid from the Bacillus thuringiensis will get extracted we are going to extract this foreign plasmid from the bacillus thuringiensis like this and now this is a foreign plasmid which has been extracted from the bacillus thuringiensis and here the shaded region which i have drawn is nothing but the cry gene remember this is a shaded region which i have drawn is nothing but the cry gene this cry gene is very 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 much important such that it is the only gene which helps in killing the insect so now you are going to uh, isolate this cry gene from this total plasmid so how you are going to do you are going to add the restriction enzymes so this restriction enzymes can cleave uh, this uh, cryogen at the restriction site such that the cryogen will be produced out so in this way you are going to produce a cryogen from the bacillus thuringiensis and on the other hand what you are going to do you are going to take the agrobacterium tumefaciens bacterium and in this bacterium there is a presence of the ti plasmid and the shaded region which i have drawn here is nothing but the tdna here the shaded region which i have drawn is nothing but the Crygene, but here the shaded region is nothing but the tDNA, right? And this is the TI plasmid, and which consists of the tDNA. And now here also you are going to use the restriction endonuclease enzyme such that it cleaves this DNA. It cleaves the DNA. So now what you are going to do is that you are going to apply the recombinant DNA technology 
such that either by micro injection process you what you are going to do is that you are going to you are going to take this cryogen and you are going to insert this cryogen into the what is into this plasmid ti plasmid so this is the structure which will be obtained so here i have mentioned here cryogen is inserted into the plasmid right this is a cryogen this cryogen has been inserted into the plasmid by using micro injection technique micro injection is nothing but a technique which is highly used in our dna technology and that technique i already explained in my previous video and the link of that video will be given in the description box so if you watch that video then you can understand how this cryogen has been inserted into this plasmid ti plasmid so finally this cryogen has been entered into this plasmid so oh this is called as a recombinant ti plasmid recombinant ti plasmid right and now from here the actual story starts see listen properly so here the recombinant ti plasmid has been formed right and now what you are going to do is that here you are going to take this agrobacterium thumbifaciens which has been previously used so this is agrobacterium thumbifaciens where we extracted the ti plasmid so as the ti plasmid has been extracted then this place will be empty right so this empty plasmid agrobacterium thumbifaciens will be used here so we have extracted that plasmid and we have modified it which is called as recombinant ti plasmid and this recombinant ti plasmid will get inserted into this uh, agrobacterium thumbifaciens in this empty space right as there is empty space which has been left over right and that empty space will be filled again with this recombinant ti plasmid right so we are going to reinsert it this is very much important to imprimer so this recombinant ti plasmid will be reinserted into this agrobacterium thumbifaciens so now this agrobacterium thumbifaciens bacteria has been modified so how you can say it is modified because here we have inserted this uh, recombinant ti plasmid right so hence we can say that this agrobacterium thumbifaciens bacteria has been modified and now what you are going to do is that on the other hand you are going to take a petri plate this is called as a petri plate and on the petri plate what you are going to do is that you are going to place this agrobacterium this agro what is it, this agrobacterium thumbifaciens bacteria into this petri plate right this modified agrobacterium thumbifaciens bacterium will be placed on this petri plate and once you place this Uh, item in this petri plate then what you are going to do is that you are going to add the nutrient medium into this petri plate and the nutrient medium includes amino acids vitamins glucose hormones growth factors so all of this nutrient medium will be supplied in this petri plate to this agrobacterium thumbifaciens modified agrobacterium thumbifaciens and why this nutrient medium will be supplied basically because it is mainly supplied for the bacterial division so this agrobacterium thumbifaciens will undergo cell division process right in the petri plate itself so once the number of the bacteria will get increased then this nutrient medium will get absent why because it has been used it has been used by this bacterium itself for the cell division so as the number of the cell quantity will get increased then this nutrient medium will be absent it will get removed it will be utilized okay so as it undergoes cell division process then the number of the modified agrobacterium thumbifaciens cells will get increased the number of the cells will get increased so remember all of these cells consists of the cry gene don't forget it all of these cells consists of the cry gene because recombinant ti plasmid has been inserted into this agrobacterium thumbifaciens right so which consists of the cry gene so all of this bacteria will consists of the cry gene even it undergoes the cell division process and now all of the cells will undergo the screening and it will be done micro propagation technique and you are going to perform plant tissue culture technique such that uh, the plants will be generated the plantlets the small small plantlets will get generated from this Uh, what we from the cells by the plant tissue culture technique so what is meant by this plant tissue culture i have already explained many videos on this plant tissue culture and the types of plant tissue culture so the playlist will be given in the description box so by using that link of the playlist you can watch the videos of this plant tissue culture and so here you are going to produce the plantlets which are related to the bt cotton so i have mentioned here bt cotton because this plant consists of bt gene it consists of the bacillus thuringiensis that's nothing but it consists of the cry gene right so hence it is called as a bt cotton plantlets and now what the scientists will do is that they will uh, they, you know they will cultivate this bt cotton in the pots and they will you know they will neatly pack they will pack this all of these bt plantlets neatly and then they are supplied to the farmers they are supplied to the farmers now what these farmers will do they will take this plant and they will cultivate this whole uh, this bt plant this bt cotton plant throughout their farm right throughout their fields and now what here the actual scene will start see enough here now 
once the insect will feed upon that bt cotton remember upon this bt cotton which consists of the cry gene then what happens then the insect will get killed so why it will get killed because there is a presence of the cry gene don't forget because there is a presence of the cry gene in the previous itself what i have said you here the cry gene has been inserted into this agrobacterial tumefaciens right so now this agrobacterial tumefaciens only has been done by cell division process the number of the cells has been increased by the cell division process only so in the same way we have produced the plants as so that the plants will also consists of that cry gene and once this in one this all of this insect will consume on those bt cotton plants then this insect will get killed so how they will get killed let us see now so once that insect will feed on those leaves of the bt cotton then the cry gene or as the bacterium this uh, modified bacillus thuringiensis will enter into the uh, will enter into this foregut or as midgut or as hindgut it will enter into the gut region of this insect let us say this is the structure of the insect right and this is the mouth from its mouth it will consume that bt cotton plant Uh, so that the agrobacterium tumefaciens which are the which has been sorry this bacillus thuringiensis which has been modified will enter into the gut of this insect and once that bacteria will enter into the gut of the insect then the cry gene also present right now that cry gene is in the form of a dna we know that gene will be all gene will be always in the form of a dna right and now the dna undergoes transcription process by using rna polymerase enzyme so now as this dna undergoes transcription process it forms the mrna and that mrna undergoes translation process to form the proteins and one of the most important thing which you have to remember here is that here the proteins has been generated uh, by transcription and translation process right and this process will be done in the gut itself in the gut of this insect itself and now here the proteins which will be generated are negative proteins negative proteins those negative proteins are nothing but which causes harm to the body parts of the insect for example if you take in the case of humans if you consume poison then you will lead to death because it acts as a poison for us in the same way this cry gene will act as a poison for this insects so once the cry gene will enter into the gut of this insect then the dna which is present in that cry gene will undergo the transcription and translation process to form the proteins and these proteins are related to that cry gene don't forget it and now these proteins are the negative proteins which will act negatively to this body of the insect such that the insect will get killed it will get killed so right so this is way this is the only the way how this insect will be killed by consuming this cotton so now let us learn about the advantages of the bt cotton to discuss about the advantages of this bt cotton it increases the yield of the cotton due to control of the boll worms no health hazards can be seen because you are going to spray this Uh, you are not going to spray this from the external environment right so there will be no health hazards which can be seen in human beings i mean farmers so integrated pest management ipm were becoming more effective due to low uh, low use of pesticides right and protection of the field how you can protect the field because of the uh, because of this bt bacillus thuringiensis so this is the way we are going to produce a bt cotton plants and if you like my explanation you can like and subscribe my channel and If you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box i'm going to clarify doubts immediately but don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you